Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at lucky people who avoided very close calls. I feel like I'm gonna be on edge throughout the whole of this video. Okay, here's the first clip. We've got a baby. Oh my god, that chicken thing is gonna kick the baby. Oh my god, wait. Where did that come from? Oh my god, am I the only one who didn't say that? What was that? Was that like a bull or like a sheep? I'm telling you, this is why you don't let babies out of their cot. Like if you literally let them out of like the house, they will get injured. Wait, please watch that again. I didn't even see where it was that they like run out of the forest. Right, so look, it walks over to like that turkey chicken thing. And yeah, the sheep runs from like out of the forest in the background. Oh my god. It nearly took out the baby and, like, that little animal. I'm telling you, them things are scary and that wee baby nearly got its life taken away. Oh no, here's Court CCTV. <laughs> Stupid yeah, idiot on a bike. Exactly, where did he come from? Whenever I'm in the car and I see a cyclist, I always get really anxious. I think it's the fact that they could possibly fall over and literally, like, get turned into, like, I don't even know, they could get flattened. And a lot of times these kids aren't wearing helmets and they're just, like, not looking around. I remember one time a kid outside of my house, we were, like, playing in the street, he decided to run across the road whenever a car was coming. I'm not joking, my heart nearly fell out my asshole because I thought he was gonna get hit. He was that far away from getting slammed by the car. And that kid's out there riding a bicycle without a helmet on. If I'm correct, I think I've seen this clip before. A baby runs out. Yeah, little child. Oh my god. Keep an eye on the children. Don't stand there and give them a wave. Like, your child literally could have got flattened. That kid could have been in a grave within, like, the space of an hour. I'm telling you, I could never have kids. I know I always joke about hating them. I'm actually quite fond of them. I think they're quite cute. But I just think taking care of one would be too stressful. You literally turn around for one second and they've disappeared. Okay, here's more CCTV and a baby's in the pram, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that guy nearly broke his back saving that baby. There was also two of them. How many babies does he have? Does he have twins? Sometimes whenever I see like people out of strollers, I look he wanna like nick the strollers. I know that's like not a good idea, but like what would happen? Obviously I get like arrested for abducting a baby. But, like I still wanna do it. Here's the motorway, what could go wrong? That car is going way too fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh god, is that in like a bus? Did you see that guy's face? Like he was looking up at that camera and he was like, I'm gonna die. Why did he do that? Like this is why I don't drive because stuff like that happens. Literally look right there. <laughs> he's looking straight into the camera. He's like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. If they were literally a meter in front of where they were, he probably would have been turned into ashes. Okay, here's a baby. The baby's gonna fall, isn't it? The baby is gonna fall. That doesn't look like a baby. That looks like a toddler. This is what I'm talking about. You can't take your eye off them for like one, more than one second. Right, the dad's right there and get ready. The baby's literally going to roll over. There, I literally knew it was going to happen. The wee fat chubster rolls over and he nearly went splat. That dad is a good dad. I'm telling you, that's why you can't take your eye off them. If you literally take your eye off them, they will roll and somehow, like, injure themselves. I also get distracted very easily, so I feel like I'd have to, like, watch a baby, but I'd, like, walk off and forget about it. Here's more CCTV. I'm telling you, I hate these car CCTV videos. What's gonna happen? What was yeah. that? Wait a minute. Can we watch that again? What was that? Was that like someone in like a mobility scooter? Is that like something you drive around like the back of a supermarket into like deliver stuff? I thought that was a man in a mobility scooter with like a rain life jacket thingy over it. Basically like a big rain protector. But no, apparently it was like a little tram. Right, so look, he literally turns the corner. You don't see the guy and then he just appears out of nowhere. What is he driving? I don't know what that was, but he nearly got caught up in a car crash. Also, if he crashed into somebody, would that count as a car crash? Also, what happens if someone in like a wheelchair and mobility scooter runs over somebody? Do they go to court as well? Yet again, more CCTV. They're going round a big bend and I did not see that motorbike part. Oh my God. Oh my god, what? How did that happen? And of course he just drives off. Yeah, that's like a new fear of mine. I used to be scared of like vehicles in case they like slam into you or like pipes fall out of the back of them. Apparently now they can fall over like that. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared for people who like drive lorries for a living. Imagine they turn a big bend and then like everything falls over like that. I'm assuming it has to do with like a weight imbalance. Either way, that would scary. Someone's gonna run across the road, aren't they? Yep, stupid woman. 
Stupid, stupid woman, old woman, hit her. Honestly, she deserves it. I knew that's mean to say, but she genuinely does. She literally seen that car coming. I mean, to be fair, I've kind of been like that before. Are you ever like crossing the road like a zebra crossing? And like you, you can see a car coming, but you can't calculate if you'd be able to get across the road in time. Sometimes you just freak out and run like I've done it before. So maybe I am being a bit mean. But this is why I need to be careful crossing roads. Literally stop, look left, look right, and then go. Okay, what is going on here? Is that a baby stroller? Oh my god, did someone push that? Wait a minute, that baby just like appeared out of nowhere. It looked like somebody pushed that. Like, is somebody trying to get an abortion after the baby was born? Look at the right hand corner. It literally looked like someone just like twirled the baby around and like shoved them. Oh my gosh. I mean, that child's lucky that someone was there to like grab it. Because if somebody wasn't there, that thing would have been like mashed up like a jam sandwich. Okay, yet again, we've got more car CCTV. What is gonna happen? A tray! Whoa! Okay, that wasn't actually anyone's fault. That was Mother Nature's fault. Can trees fall like that? Like, I swear. Oh my god, they actually can. I was gonna say, I swear you can, like, see them falling before they actually fall, like, bending. But that tree didn't look bendy to me. I'm telling you, some people out there literally have the worst luck ever. But I guess that's why these people are lucky. Okay, here's a baby mixing a mix. This scene gonna end. Well, that looks awful, by the way. That literally looks like vomit. Oh! Right, that's a good parent. Yeah, never mind. If a baby sneezes in my stuff, I'd actually I don't even know what to do. I mean, to be fair, it is their baby, so they'll probably just like, you know, mix it around a bit more. But you know, there's COVID. Thinking about it now, whenever I was younger, I used to cough and sneeze so much. It's quite obvious the dad wanted to eat whatever they're making. He literally covered the baby's face. Oh my god, another baby. What's going on with all these babies? What is gonna happen? Something Oh no, don't. Oh wait, I thought I had something in its mouth, but it didn't. Oh, 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 yep, grab its head, okay, that's good. Oh, I just love how the person literally fed the baby didn't react at all. Look, they're literally stood there just completely smiling, you psychopath. I thought the baby was gonna, like, fall over if the spoon in its mouth, and fun fact, that can actually be really fatal. If they basically fall over, the spoon can, like, go up into their throat and, like, really injure them. But even them falling back like that and smacking their head, it could have really, like, hurt the baby. I remember whenever I was, like, five or six, my primary school best friend's mom had a baby, and, like, I was, like, poking the baby, and, like, I accidentally poked the top of its head, and she kind of, like, flicked my hand like that. Basically, the top of baby's heads are, like, very very soft whenever they're first born. I could poke my finger into its brain. Oh my god, what a surprise, another baby. I wonder what's gonna happen. The baby's gonna fall and that mother's gonna shit across that room like Superman. Oh, yep, it started. Or is it a dad? I don't know. Oh, 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 yes, he protected the baby. Okay, I think the baby's fine. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Yep, the baby's up and it's getting back up onto the sofa. Do you wanna know something? We actually need to give men credit for taking care of kids. I feel like whenever people think of parents, they always think of like mothers. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of mothers out there and they're honestly amazing. But there also is fathers. And not even fathers, step parents, uncles, grandmothers. I feel like we all need to give a round of applause to them people because like, it is hard bringing up a baby. That baby nearly broke its neck and the dad saved it. I think this is the sixth car CCTV video of this video. Anyways, car tried to take over the other car and yup, nearly caused a car accident. I mean, I don't understand why you do something like that. The person honestly driving that car should be arrested. Why do people do that? Like, do they genuinely think they're gonna get away with it? I love how I'm saying that whenever my dad literally did the same thing whenever I was younger. But to be fair, he would make sure that the road was completely closed or like there was no other cars. But still, he literally had me, a young child, in the background. Oh, why is that car not stopping? Yet again, they were literally crossing the roundabout. I don't understand how roundabouts work. They genuinely confuse me. Whenever I see my mum and dad like driving around them, I don't know how they do it to me. It's like a massive jigsaw puzzle. Because like, there's loads of different ways to go in and out. What happens if you want to go a specific way, but like a car doesn't go that way and they like hit you? It doesn't make any sense to me. It genuinely stresses me out. I feel like this should just be like an idiots in car video. We've got another car clip. Yet again, people aren't looking. I actually don't know whose fault that was. Like, was it the gray car or was it the red car? Maybe both of them people shouldn't have a car license. I mean, I'm telling you right now, if I were to ever drive a car, I would absolutely be like them. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. Like, I am gonna be a crap driver. Oh my God, here's two wee cute dogs. I love dogs, they're so cute. Wait, oh my God, no. I think I know what's gonna happen. Please don't tell me what's gonna happen. Is what I think it's gonna happen. Is the dog gonna choke? Please don't tell me it does choke. Oh my god, don't choke. Oh my god, wait, oh. Yeah, um, wait, what? What? Oh my god, what? It's choking. Oh my god, no, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't watch that. I'm not looking at that. I'm not, I, no, I'm not looking at the screen right now. Oh my god, see, this has nearly happened to my dog before. Oh my god, how is this allowed on YouTube? Hello? Oh my god, is the dog okay? I think it vomited it up. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, oh my god. 
Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. I've said oh my god 50 times within the last five seconds. Yeah, the dog looks fine to me. Oh, I'm not joking. I know exactly how that owner feels because I've went through that before. My dog's nearly choked before and my dog also ran away once or like, I remember one time I took my dog for a walk. I turned around and it was disappeared. Like I literally went the other direction. That really scares me because I've nearly choked before really badly whenever I was younger. Basically, my mum had sweets in the backseat. I was told not to eat them because they were really hard sweets. I think I was like eight. I like swallowed one and it literally got stuck in my throat. I'm not even kidding. I thought I was going to die. Like I literally opened the car door and ran into the shop and I was like, Ugh, like that, like me making noises like that. Obviously I was able to get it out in the end because I'm still here but like it just put me into like a big panic and I know exactly how that owner and dog felt. That poor dog that actually makes me really sad. Why would they put that on YouTube? Like I'm not even kidding I genuinely feel like crying. That actually broke my heart. Okay we're continuing the video. I think it's fine. The other dogs are happy. The dogs don't care but I think that one's fine. Yeah it is. Is it? Is it okay? Wait the dog's not letting go of the trait. The dog's like I want to die. Never mind, I think it's fine. It vomited it off. I love how I was literally finishing the treat at the end. It was like, it might have just killed me, but I'm still gonna enjoy it. That poor wee dog, like, it looked like an older dog as well. I'm telling you, dogs are too precious. Okay, here's the last clip we're gonna watch. They're playing scary music. Oh. Was that it? Okay, apparently that was it. They nearly hit a taxi driver. I mean, that was the ending of this video. That is some lucky people who avoided very close calls. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a pretty big red subscribe button, and yes, I'll see you all in my next video.